I can only hang out for 20 minutes, but it's good to see a nice sunny fall day. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing times. Gang, Cheryl can only stay for 20 minutes. Let's do a quick liqueur, uh, making liqueurs, okay? So let's make our liqueurs. Um, Cheryl, check this out. I want Cornelian cherry picking, right? We've had in, in remnant for the past two days. Check this out. This is our cornelian cherries i got two of these i want to make okay check this out i want to make because cornelian cherry liqueur is absolutely phenomenal and the ones we made from like three years ago they've lost their flavor so i'm going to make these two okay I, I we still have like a bowl left in the fridge for eating okay we also went quince picking okay pick some quince from uh sort of a park that we have here and check this out. Picked a lot of quince, and quince is expensive in my part of the world, like crazy expensive, right? So already made some dishes, food dishes and stuff with quince, and the rest of this is going to be uh, Randall. Thank you very much for the sub. Salute, salute. How many months? Thirty-eight months. Currently thirty-eight months. Street poop. <laughs> salute, brother. So these are cooking up like uh, with meat in a sort of a casserole dish with potatoes onions um, apples and stuff super delicious gives it a nice tangy flavor okay. so let's do this let me do a little adjustment here bring this little thing here so you guys see what i'm doing Whoop. tight space tight space hong kong elder <laughs> hong kong Adra, ad, Adramadas. Salute, salute. Check this out. Let's put this here. Deflake, really like your last personal finance stream. Would love to have regular updates, takes on macro investment options. Okay, Deflake, we do. I think it's important to do, actually. Let's do the Cornelian cherry first. Cheryl, I'm loving that activity levels are uh, uh, reveling. 2019 but man it's tough to ju uh, juggle schedules yeah busy times busy times crazy times crazy times right now so I'm gonna put just let's see how much how much we're gonna put in here I'm gonna put a um, little bit over half a cup of sugar in this okay a little bit more than half a cup or a little bit less than half a cup I mean a uh, little bit less than a cup <laughs> right so let's just put that in here if I need to sweeten it more later I will and I wouldn't bought uh, they had the big bottles of vodka so I'm gonna use up this little guy first and then we're gonna crack open the big guy and again this is uh, just absolute vodka I'm using can't wait to taste this uh, Cornelian cherry liqueur. Cornelian cherry liqueur gang is phenomenal. So good. One like people keep on asking me, what's your one, you know, for your favorite liqueurs you made? I really like the Cornelian cherry liqueur. Absolutely phenomenal. I was gonna make jam with the stuff, but uh, I decided to go with the liqueur because. Um, <laughs> Uh, the, the liqueur is phenomenal and the jam we still have some jam left over before Plutonic pillars one cannot confuse those cherries with uh, belladonna's belladonna I don't know belladonna's I know I know a special type of actress called belladonna <laughs> from the late 1990s and early 2000s <laughs> is that the belladonna we're talking about Salute, salute to Belladonna. I hope she's still alive. <laughs> Super delicious. Remember that time when AOC said macro, micro? <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't listen to AOC. <laughs> uh, first time chat, first time chat. Javis, 
Javes, one, two, three. I have no idea what that says. Espero que e ben chicho. Saludos, saludos. And I'm doing well. Thank you very much. Uh, hope you're hope you're doing well from where you're from. Let's mix this up. Yeah, we all know Belladonna. Mark, Mark says. Give it a nice mix. And it's nice and sunny out right now. So I'm going to put this here. Just let it get some sun. Let's do the next one. Nice. <laughs> Salute to Belladonna. Plutonic blurs. That's hilarious. So funny, funny. Let's do the same. Let's put almost a cup, full cup in here. Make them both the same. Okay. Nice. Very happy to have Cornelia and Cherry the Cure. Very happy to have Cornelia and Cherry the Cure. Doop, doop, doop. Where's the vodka? There it is. Belladonas are, f are, are a fruit, are also known as devil's berries. Really? I don't know bel Belladonna fruit. How much absolute vodka? Uh, vodka do you recommend relatively? I fill it up to the top, so all the plutonic pores, so all the fruit is under the vodka, right? Because you want to get the full flavor of the fruits. After, when you're pouring it, it's okay if the vod the fruit is not all submerged under alcohol, right? So after it's been sitting there for a while, because the fruit takes on the alcohol inside of it, so it preserves it, right? You can drink the alcohol all the way down and the fruit will not go bad for years, right? And then you can just add more vodka and sugar and get more flavor out of the fruit, okay? 19.30 here and the sun has vanished. 7.30. So I like to submerge all the fruit. I pour enough so they're all submerged. The Cornean cherry tree, they can go pretty big, but they're, um, let's see, they could go, these ones were feet wise. Uh, I needed a step ladder to get all the top, top ones. So we weren't able to get all the top ones. We only got, you know, about half way up the tree. Uh, so they're, God, I'm trying to think how tall would they be? They can go 20 feet. 20 feet okay oh we're taller but it, I'm assuming if you trim them prune them uh, you can just keep them low where you can reach them all right lark bar belladonna is sweet and delicious if you catch my <laughs> only when it's young <laughs> Early, early on in her stage, in her in her career, older Belladonna might not be so sweet and delicious. Nice. So this looks great. Look at the color on this. Look at the color on this. Beautiful. And let's do the quince. Let's do the quince. Oh, I've meant to ask this for at least a year. L have uh, have you ever made liqueur with simple syrup rather than sugar directly no I've never done I, I thought about doing it with honey but then honey wouldn't um, it wouldn't dissolve easily I guess it would um, but I've never done I've never done I've sort of found a nice little recipe that works so I just stick with it uh, I've tried diverting with going gin and then doing a couple other things that didn't work out too well understory toyo toyo tree yes and they're they're in understory understory this one i'm just gonna add uh, half a cup half a cup of sugar okay Here, a little bit more half a cup make sure it's half a cup half a cup of sugar Yeah, let's do half a cup. Good. Mark was laughing. 
Mature furs have their advantages. Indeed they do. <laughs> Usually they're squishier. Uh, but if, if you let them mature too much, they mold. <laughs> Nasty conversation. <laughs> that in nice shade, sweet and delicious. Oh, the God says. I have no idea how this is gonna taste. I'm excited though. I'm excited though. I will stick with my peaches out of glasses. <laughs> Funny. This might be in, ended up being a little bit too sweet, but quince. Uh, let's see what this tastes like. Let's see what this tastes like. <laughs> Sorry, on the story, <laughs> like shorter trees. And I'm, oh, uh, shorter trees in a forest. Uh, maybe I've never found them in a forest, though. Um, I found them in uh, in a maintained park. Okay, and uh, uh, basically maintained parks. That's where I found them. And one of our family members, actually, a few years ago, I took some of the seeds um, from uh, cornelian trees we harvested from a park. From actually, it was the side of a road. We found three, four corn, four cornelian cherries. We harvest a lot. I took those seeds, and I, um, I uh, planted them. I, I not hatched them, but uh, what do you call it? I <laughs> grew them. <laughs> so we had uh, little cuttings, seedlings. I made seedlings out of four seeds. Only one of they survived. One of them died. Three of them survived. But then when they grew grew a little bit taller two of them died and i gave one of them to a family member my uncle and aunt and they planted that tree in their yard and they have a cornelian cherry that i that i got the seed from uh i made into a seedling they have it growing in their backyard now and they harvest cornelian cherries from their backyard so um that's that's the only places i've never really seen cornelian cherries in the forest yeah i've never have damn rock and roll like we damn rock and roll chicho with the alcohol nice and we got coin slick here okay i'm gonna close off the sugar nice let's put this guy to the side here let me do this line these up so they're in the sun like there's a little bit of sunshine right now here so I'm just gonna put these here so they get a little bit of nice sun so the uh, the sugar will dissolve and I'm right beautiful beautiful excited to sample these together okay so that's our liqueur little uh, little segment little segment so Cheryl could see what we were doing. Right. Salute gang. I hope you're having a fantastic Sunday.